We're out here in the chicken yard and today Sasha and I are planning to harvest a few of our hens for our food needs. A number of you have requested uh, to see that process, to see how we in particular go about doing that. And so that's what this video will be about. If you feel like seeing uh, a hen or a creature being put down, being killed. This isn't the video for you, potentially. And I'd encourage you, if you're on the fence, if you're, you're thinking you may be interested in seeing this but you're not quite sure, make the decision. But we're going to go about it in a careful and thoughtful way and we'll let you know before we actually do the act so you can choose to step away at that point if you'd like to. For those of you that may be thinking about getting into raising chickens for yourselves, for your family, uh, the way we go about this may be of use to you. So we're going to look for those hens that, to the best of our ability, feel like the winter is not treating them well, that they're having a hard time, and those would be the ones that we select out today. So I'm going to start by picking one of those birds out to the best of my ability. When we pick the bird up, we try to be very gentle and very careful. Uh, move them in a way where they get to a place where they actually feel somewhat relaxed. You can tell that she's not loving this right now, but it's not very stressful for her. We would never want to kill a chicken when they're actively feeling stressed out about the situation. There's a moment when it's very stressful when it happens, uh, but up until then we try to be as gentle and thoughtful as we can. This is a place where if you really don't want to see this chicken pass to the other side, now's the time to step away. We won't feel upset if you leave now. Um, that said, so the way we go about it is uh, different than most folks. We learned this from some old-timer folks that uh, process lots of chickens for home scale and they suggested that by breaking their neck um, it ends up being less stressful for them overall and we found that to be true after doing about uh, 30 30 to 40 harvests in this way. And so, this will be the moment where she will feel stress for a moment or two. What I do is I lay a shovel down. I like using a very rigid steel shovel that lays flat on the ground or near to it. You can use any sort of shovel though or rigid pole. And I'll slip her head under and put pressure on both sides and pull her legs and it should happen within a split second but I'm not going to talk you through that part, I'm just going to be very present with it. Heated the water for plucking on the wood stove and we get it to about 165. If it's over that, it scalds them too much and this is about right, so it cools down really fast. So I'm just gonna start. Although there's too much probably in here. I 
just start plucking. And... The killing part's a pretty emotional process each time. We're still pretty new to this, you know, we've done this like 40 times over the course of the chunk of years we've had the chickens. But then once this part starts, it's really a transition in the mind to, to food. It's mm. kind of crazy <laughs> feeling that shift. Mm. I will go uh, process them further, but there are probably places you can go online to find that information, or you know how to do it better than we do. We do fine, but it's not elegant, probably, our work. I think, like, our human mind, mine and Sean's particularly, maybe we want to take somebody who's not thriving, but each time we do this, when we actually cut into the bird, they look pretty healthy. There's like very healthy fat, healthy looking organs. I mean, this one, when I pulled it out the liver, I kind of mangled it, but these are all healthy organs and this is a healthy bird that smells wonderful. So there's an arbitrariness that I just wanted to acknowledge. <laughs>